Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Jake Gallen here with Emblem Vault. And today I'm going to show you how to crack a vault that is containing your counterparty and Bitcoin asset and bring it back to the native chain. Here we are, Pepe's Lambos, which just showed how to vault the asset. We can see it's finally made it. And you can tell that you own it because this shows up right here. It says claim crack open vault. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that. And what happens is once we approve this transaction, which is going to be a dollar and 74 cents at 17 guay. So we could tell it's literally three times to four times as less expensive as it is to mint a vault. How funny is that? As we can see, the process went through because it says here is claiming and the process will transact. And basically what you're doing is you're burning the vault, but it, you're still always going to have the private keys that remain. So that's the really cool part. It'll actually disappear off of OpenSea so that some, some people can't get, be fooled anymore. And something to show you too is that since it isn't on OpenSea, you can always come here to my vaults and then you can come here to the unclaimed, right? Or the claimed, I should say. And it'll show you everything that is here. And so these are all my examples, as you can tell here just cranking them out. So we're coming down here, we're gonna hit the get keys and you're gonna to have to sign a transaction. Again, always make sure that you have a ledger, make sure you practice safety because that's what I'm doing down here and verifying it on my ledger. And once the private keys come up, it'll display and it'll show you a handful of different ones. You have your mnemonic phrase, which is the 16, 12 word phrase. You have your BTC one. And these are all the keys that exists within the wallet that you could use to store it in there. So for the sake of this in with, with Bitcoin, you're going to want to copy your private key, especially if you're using free wallet. So what we're going to do is here is we hit that, we hit copied, we're going to come down and we're going to come over to our free wallet and we're going to come here and we're going to hit change address. And so once you do this, you're going to come down here, hit option, hit import private keys. We're going to paste that private key and we're going to hit OK. And so then once that is done, you could come in here, you could hit imported. And this is the recent one that we did. And then you're going to come to the imported address. And we see here Pepe Lambos is here. And then from here, you could do whatever you want. You could take the Pepe's Lambos and you can send it to another wallet. You're going to need some Bitcoin inside of that so that you could transfer it out. So that is how you successfully crack a vault and bring your asset back to its native chain.